And what makes this so crazy is that June is designated in this country as Pride Month, a month dedicated to creating positive stances against discrimination and violence towards lesbians, gays, bisexuals, transgendered, and queer people. Uh, and it's an opportunity to promote self-affirmation, equal rights, and visibility, um, visibility for the LGBTQ movement. And if you think about this in juxtaposition to last year, right? Last year, we were celebrating of the Supreme Court's ruling that said that marriage, everybody could get married. Marriage equality. And to think about it, that most of you guys are listening to this show on the same weekend that we are commemorating the loss of nine individuals at from the the Saint Mother the Mother Emmanuel's the Mother Emmanuel's Methodist Church massacre that took place last year, which was predicated on racism, and to know that the Pulse nightclub shooting was predicated on homophobia and hate says to me that a lot has changed in a year, not for the better, but for the worse, right? There's no question that what took place in Orlando was indeed an act of terrorism. But I don't want to focus on the terrorism part because I think what terrorism does is it washes out the memory of those 50 individuals, or 49, excuse me, that lost their lives. This was a hate crime, a hate crime that was coded and based in homophobia. Now, there's no that we all agree that the the shooter was of Muslim descent, and we're trying to figure out whether or not he had pledged allegiance to ISIS or he had pledged allegiance to whoever. But that doesn't matter to me. What makes this massacre so heartbreaking is that it took place in an in a, in a building, in, in in a place that is so sacred to the LGBTQ community. See Pulse, you see Pulse nightclub, like so many other nightclubs all across America, is a place that allows for self, allows for you to be self-affirmed. It's a place that's open, open arms. It says, "Be whoever you want to be." For a lot of LGBTQ folks, it's the first place where they finally realize what being gay, being lesbian, being bisexual, being transgender, or being queer was all about. It was, it's the ideal behind it, a place where you can go to where you are safe. And that safety, America, just like a jar, was smashed open by this shooter. But here's the thing, that safety has been in jeopardy far, far, far before that shooter walked into Pulse nightclub. Over and over again, all across America, in state legislatures, in school board, in school board chambers, in city, in city halls, we've seen misminded politicians push forward laws to mitigate the rights of LGBTQ folks, whether it be um, the act that, they, that was passed in North Carolina that says that transgender individuals can't go to the bathroom where they identify, or it be laws passed in 1992 by the FDA that says a gay man cannot give blood if he's had sex, or, or better yet, any man who's had sex with a man cannot give blood, but a woman who's had over 2,000 sexual partners can give blood. Or... It is the law is in Mississippi that doesn't that says that LGBTQ folks are not protected classes. Over and over again throughout this nation, we've seen politicians try to mitigate the rights and discriminate against LGBTQ folks. They have created what I would call a fertile ground of hatred and bigotry that allows folks like this shooter and allows ISIS and other groups to push forward their hate rhetoric against gay, lesbian, transgendered, bisexual, and queer individuals. So while we sit here and we mourn the loss of those 49 individuals, let us all take a moment to understand that their loss is an opportunity for us to make sure that laws like this, laws that hate against gays, laws that hate against lesbians, laws that hate against bisexual and transgender folk never become codified in this country anymore. Now is a time for us as a movement, progressives, to stand up and say we've had enough. Now is a time for all of those who have embraced homophobia 
And I'm talking to everybody who's embraced homophobia. So that's folks in the black community. That's folks in the Latino community. That's folks in the white community that refuse to identify that they have indeed have hatred in their own hearts. To say enough is enough. America has always been a place where self-expression is celebrated i.e. the First Amendment. And now it's time for us to codify that in our hearts and in our laws.